Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome as I bring you back to the beautiful Taranaki region of the North Island of New Zealand. Of course, New Plymouth home to Americana for 2023 and you're about to see some of it on this week's episode of the show that goes to seven countries every week, Classic Restos. <laughs> Thanks to Venture Taranaki, here is just a sample of just some of this beautiful region for you to come and enjoy. Next year, why not come along and check out Americana and stay a few extra days. From the 12.7 kilometre coastal walkway stretching from near Port Taranaki, past the central city, through Hickford Park, past Bell Block Beach and to Tira Moana Crescent in Bell Block, northeast of New Plymouth, spectacular views, spectacular sights. And the big one overlooking all is the dormant stratovolcano Mount Taranaki, resting at an intimidating two and a half thousand metres in elevation. Mount Taranaki is the second highest mountain in the North Island. Okay, this is day one, the Wednesday, and near 900 vehicles are expected to turn up this year. If it's an American-made vehicle, it's welcome here. Cruise time departure today is 10.30am, and everyone will head to Opanaki Beach via Surf Highway 45. And when you hear JR over there blowing his whistle, that means stop what you're bloody well doing and get over there and get your daily instructions. Each day, meeting here at TSB Stadium, Americana designates a new cruise location. That's most of the fun, getting there. People line the streets to watch the cars come past, the kids get out of school a while and their support is always fantastic. Arrival at Opanaki Beach is from 11.30am. This is the first chance for vehicles and owners to park up and relax a while. It's a chance for the entrance to unwind, grab some lunch and enjoy this beautiful location. Here we are, the beautiful township of Opanaki, and down there is Opanaki Beach. Discovered back in 1710 when Ben Open and Aki Aki got together, and Aki said to Ben, This place is beautiful, we should combine our surnames and name the town out of it. So they combined the surnames of Open and Aki, so hence Opanaki. Discovered at 1710, and then at 1730 they both went to dinner.
And away we go. How cool is this? Not only do we have a sensational 1957 Buick wagon, but we've got the surfboard on top. How appropriate here at Openarchy Beach. How are you, Justine? I'm good, thanks, Fletch. That's the way. Look at you, dressed in theme. Well, we've got to try and keep it there, yes. Absolutely. Sensational wagon. It looks fantastic. You don't see too many of these. What's the story, Justine? Oh, it's a short story. Not very long, but it's good. We got it three years ago and imported it from America. Um, it's very original. We've just lowered it, put new wheels on. After um, driving it to Hooks Bay from the, the original side of it, it was a little bit loose, so we had to tighten it up a bit, make it easier to drive, more comfortable. The paintwork, so, okay, we've got this beautiful red here, uh, so no respray here, you bought as is from the United States, right? Correct, yes. Um, just the, it's beautiful, and the style of this wagon, the size of the wagon, that uh, typical General Motors design there, the curvature just over the top of the of the back door there, it's just, it's a beautiful shape. It is, it's great, and, and the thing is we can put a lot of people in the back of it too, so it's a party machine. How does it drive as a car? Is it obviously, look, we've done some uh, a fair few Ks today. So far, so good. It obviously is a good car. It is definitely a really good car. We've, we've driven, um, you know, all of North Island in it, so it's been great. The more you drive it, the more comfortable you get. You get a bit more confident, but you just got to realise you've got to brake a little bit earlier. Yeah. Yeah. or else um, it doesn't stop in time. <laughs> the easy. Americans designed these cars back in the day in 55 onwards with the, uh, the Eisenhower, the, uh, the highway systems. And I think, you know, they designed them to go in a straight line, but uh, maybe not to pull up real quick. Definitely not, no. And it does hit corners well, but you just got to try and keep it on the four wheels. Oh, cool. <laughs> look, if you leave enough gap with the cars in front in any car, you shouldn't really have a drummer and you should always be able to pull up. Um, now, engine-wise, do you know what's under the hood there? <laughs> Justine? I sure do, Fletch. It's a 364 nail head. Oh, yeah, there you go. Buick, so synonymous, that, that nail head V8. What a great product they were. And um, goes nice? Yes, it does. Yep, very smooth. It's yeah. very smooth. Also, too, uh, 1955, pretty well, well the, the, the Art Deco era had finished um, uh, more towards the, the, the modernism side there. But I just love how some of that old style and, and a bit of that Art Deco has come through. And you, you can see that in the dash display. Um, back in the times, of, you know, when they really built a stylish dash. <laughs> stylish? <laughs> it's pretty basic really, yeah. Air conditioning would be great, <laughs> yeah. but the stereo is great. Um, yeah, the fuel gauge doesn't work all the time, but you yeah. just go by fuel till you stop. Yeah. So no air conditioning of course, but you've got some, got some good vents. Yeah, keep those windows open, yeah. definitely. Yeah. And, and aren't, isn't that great at 40 degrees? It's like a hairdryer. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I love the wagon styling. Uh, we go back to this style of this car, around the back tailgate and uh, the beautiful tail lamps, the amount of bright work um, that used to be used back in the mid-50s with these cars. The stainless, the chrome, sensational. It is. It's gorgeous. And um, a lot don't have that chrome stripes in the back. And, we, you know, it just takes a bit of cleaning, but um, it's worth it. <laughs> All right, Justine, thank you so much. I do appreciate you being on this uh, special episode of Classic Restos here covering, well, putting the toe in the water for Americana 2023 and it's the old story people like yourself Justine and your partner David over there helping to make an event uh, come together such as this thanks Justine pleasure Fletch thank you okay see you over the course of the next few days yeah bring it on <laughs> when I was a kid I loved cars still do the 57 Cadillac Eldorado Brown was the most advanced car in the world Cost more than a Rolls. Hand built with a stainless steel roof, cruise control, electric seats, and would you believe, air suspension. American Iron. It's a passion Shannons understand. That's why they ensure my daily drive, the caddy, my bike, even the house. Call Shannons on 13 46 46. Shannons. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts, available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Welcome to day two of the event that stops New Plymouth. Americana. And the event has a big heart, with some entrants choosing to be a part of the rest home visits. And this year I have chosen to feature our little run to Chalmers Retirement Home. 
And before we embark upon our retirement home run, got to pick on this guy here. How are you, Shane? Good, thanks, Fletch. Very good. That's why, mate. This is beautiful. The first time that I've got so close to a 1991 Buick Roadmaster wagon. Now, we know it's in the 90s, but hey, it's a, a late model cool classic, this, and I can't believe how nice these wagons are, Shane. Mm, yeah, lovely big car to ride around in. Perfect for cruising around the, around the Taranaki. Yep. Absolutely. Now, uh, this is 100%. This is a good fact. The widest bodied car built in the United States of America, correct? Uh, definitely in the 90s, yep, yep. Challenge some of these um, Impalas for widths, but yeah, yep, pretty yeah. big. Uh, when we look inside, what an interior. Just beautiful. It, like you say, it is a big lounge room. Obviously, long wheelbase car too. The ride must be superb. Yeah, absolutely. Rides like a cloud, definitely. Where did you get it from? Um, I picked it up from Auckland, so it's been in the country since 2005, yeah, right. and I've had it for about four years now. Yeah. So. Do you know what part of the States it came from? Uh, it came from Canada. Yeah, it's right. a Canadian car. Shane, I love what you've done with the bags up on the on the on the top there, up there in the rack. It's uh, just the real family truckster. Absolutely, yeah. Family holiday is what the theme is, so that's what we're out here doing. Through the back tailgate, we're looking inside the rear area there, and uh, looks like it could seat about well, I don't know, eight or nine, and probably sleep thirteen. Yep, legally nine. We do sleep in the back. We take it camping as well, so it's a uh, jack of all trades for sure. I was only joking about the nine people and I was bang on, so there you go. Awesome vehicle. So I just wanted to uh, give you a bit of a feature on, on the episode here. Um, Americana for 2023. As I said earlier, the very first time that I've actually been up this close to one of these Buicks. Um, heard about them in the past, seen plenty of pictures in the United States, seen them going along the road, but to see one as close as this, outstanding vehicle, I reckon. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, not many around, so I'm pleased to, pleased to have it for yeah, sure. Good on you. Shane, been an absolute pleasure, my friend. Thank you very much, Flitz. Cheers. Meeting at TSB Stadium, then depart to take the excited elderly for a drive around the block in cars they may have owned back in the day or dreamt of. It's always a big hit, and our seniors wait for this bit every year. Good on them. And what are some of your fondest memories of motor cars? What ones can you remember? Oh, I've got a bit of dementia, so I don't remember a lot, except that I know I used to have a lot of fun with them. Can you tell us how you're feeling today about going out in this, um, this, this beautiful Chev? Oh, I love it. Love it, yeah. Very comfortable, yes. I like it. And we'll let you get going now for your cruise in this beautiful 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. Thanks to Tony over there, who's going to be taking you for a drive, OK? Lovely. Thank you. OK, thank you very much. that how emotional is it isn't it a nice touch the entrance here at Americana to choose to go to the retirement homes and pick up these lovely people and take them for a run in the classic cars these people at the retirement homes their day-to-day -day runnings really don't change that much so to have something to look forward to to know on the morning that the cars will turn up and take them out and around the block a couple of times I think is just such a nice thing to do so many memories are brought back as well this event is just so diverse and picking up the people, the elderly people from the retirement home and taking them for a drive, it's just another string to the bow to this event here for Americana. All the cars have returned now from the retirement home run to the TSB Stadium here at New Plymouth and at 12 o'clock all entrants are going to cruise to the township of Whitra. It's pretty cool what they do there. They block off the main street, everyone gets out, catches up, everyone checks out everyone else's vehicles. It's great for the businesses there at Whitra and also for the people of the township as well. And here we are, the big park up in Waitra. How are you, Michael? Very good, Fletch, thank you. That's the way, beautiful car, this Chrysler. Have a look at this, would you? 1965, it goes on and on and on, nearly 20 feet long, a two-door car, black, beautiful, bright work, and also um, a low-production car, Michael. 
Yeah, it was a limited edition uh, non-letter car, which makes it even more of a one-off type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it it, uh, it comes to us from Nevada, uh, from from Vegas, correct? Yeah, from it was pulled out of a car museum or the car museum in Las Vegas, yeah. and it spent 15 years in there. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. What I love about these things, Michael, is the ability that the Americans had to make a very fast car out of a very big car. They were the only country in the world that did that. Most cars that were claimed as, as fast or were a, uh, a performance car were a smaller sports car or maybe a Mustang or a Shelby. But uh, to get these uh, big full-size cars and to do the things they did with them back in the day. Now, it says high output. We're looking at a 383. Uh, maybe you could just tell us a little bit of information about that. Uh, 6.2 litre and 340 horsepower. Now, the appearance of the car is one thing. The interior is amazing. Lots of bright work in there, including up on the dashboard as well. Love that centre console, Michael. Right. That is standard from uh, what I understand with the limited edition. Um, nothing has been done to the car at all. I do understand that it has had a paint job at some stage. Yeah but it's definitely not recent. We've got class all day long here. Look at out the back, even the beautiful bright work around the rear of the car. There's just something about the RT symbol there. We've got the bumblebee stripe over the back as well. Yeah. It's um, it's just a great looking machine, Michael. Yeah, I, I must admit, with the day that I saw it, like it was advertised on Trade Me and the photographs weren't the best. And it was only purely because I'd looked at another car and the guy wouldn't let me drive it, believe it or not. Yeah. And we went and saw this and basically stumbled upon gold yeah. and virtually bought it on the spot. But yeah. um, It stands for so much. We've got, uh, we've got an, an RT car, we've got a, a 300 series badged car as well. A high output here on the top of the hood. Michael, this 1965 Chrysler, absolutely stunning. As it says there on the card, on the information card, drives like a brand new car. Not a lot of miles on it. Uh, thank you again. Apparently you left your lunch to come here for the interview? Absolutely. You were very um, convincing on the phone, Fletch. <laughs> <laughs> when, I track, when I track somebody down, I'd say... Uh, yeah. got a I feel hunted, not, yeah. not tracked down, but yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well. it was good. Doesn't matter what way you look at it, you yeah. you ended up on the episode. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Thank you, Michael. Okay. No and, worries. Uh, Thank you for being uh, an integral part of this fantastic event, Americana for 2023. Cheers, mate. Cheers. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go. So Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts, available through the Holden Certified Service Network. Have a look for your nearest Holden Certified Service Centre at holden.com.au and let's keep supporting Australia's own. And of course, it goes without saying. If you own a classic, it just has to be insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646 and have a discussion to the Shannon's representative about the many products. Find the one that might suit you best. And also, the Shannon's Club awaits you as Australia's largest automotive online hub. For more information, visit shannons.com.au.
cool is this? This is Americana in full swing. All the cars have not long left Wydra on route now to Inglewood for the park up for the street party. Hundreds of American classics, lots of people and live music. This is the Americana Street Party at Englewood. Americana entrance and the public take over the main street here in Englewood and party on through until 8pm tonight. Okay, here we are, the Inglewood Park Up. How cool is this? Every year of Americana, huge party scene here. It's got such a vibe to it. And John, thanks for bringing along this beautiful 1936 Ford. Oh, you're welcome, Flix. I love what you've done here. This car is so period correct in so many ways. Talk about Boy Racer. You've got the uh, a Mercury V8 in there, supercharged as well. Uh, what an incredible fit out going on under the engine cowls of this car. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I bought it three years ago from uh, a guy called Alan Wiley in the South Island. He developed the car over 36 years. I can't take credit for building it, but it's um, supercharged and fuel injected. Yeah. Look, the thing obviously flies in a straight line. How do you pull it up? Don't tell me you've still got the 1936 brakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got disc brakes, Falcon disc brakes on the front. It's got original suspension all round but it's got panhead rods, um, it's got uh, anti-sway bars front and rear, yeah. telescopic sh uh, shocks, a five-speed W50 gearbox yeah. and an eight-inch diff power brakes and it stops. Um, it travels really good. I've had it on a dyno and at the flywheel it's 210 horsepower yeah, right. and 185 at the back wheels. How cool. How cool are you Kiwis over here with these sorts of cars doing this sort of stuff? I, I just love it. When I looked at the car, I walked right past it because I thought, nice looking car, but boring. Yeah. When they lifted the bonnet up, my, um, my partner, she said, come and have a look at the motor. And I had a look and I went, who owns this thing? I've got to buy it. I bought it and, uh, well, I had a look at it. I went through the car with Alan, yep. explained everything to me, put it up on a hoist. And I drove it home. I yeah. said, we got to do a deal. And that's another thing too, Alan. You, you drive the thing. You don't trail it around. You drive it. It's got power steering, variable ratio power steering as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. So it's just... Obviously, really a, nice. obviously a steering rack. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's got a steering box. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. But is, that, that out, is that out of a Falcon as well? Uh, the steering box is a uh, out of a Commodore, variable okay. ratio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it handles really nicely and the geometry is real correct. You've got so much tech, so much tech has gone into it. Um, but, you know, you've still got it like a period type looking car from the era. I really love what's been done here. Oh, I, I tell you what, it's incredible. It's one of a kind and, uh, you know, full compliments to uh, uh, Alan that built the car, Alan Wiley. You know, just a magnificent job, and yeah, I, I couldn't, yeah. I had to buy it. John, I don't blame you. Aesthetically, the car looks fantastic. Around the back, the spare wheel cover there, uh, you know, it just, it looks amazing. It yeah. really, really does. I love the colour as well. Across the dashboard from back in the day, uh, it's, a, it's a cool car, mate. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. It's really a cool car. I love it. Well, thanks, John. Thanks for uh, bringing this beautiful Ford along uh, to Americana for 2023, being a part of the park up here for uh, for the street party. And I uh, hope you have a great night, John. Thank you very much, Fish. Yeah. I'm really honoured to be on your show. Yeah. So, so, so you should be. Yeah. So. <laughs> You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au.
Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.